What's up everyone? Today is July 14th, 2021, 85 Fahrenheit, 29 Celsius, and it's 2.15 in the afternoon. I'm going to walk through the famous Alvera Street today. Originally it's called Calle de los Vines, Vine Street and Wine Street, and it's known for the El Pueblo de los Angeles historic monuments. Originally, Los Angeles was settled by Spanish settlers in 1781 and they really set out on um, an area southeast of here near the Los Angeles River. So just based on that, this street has a lot of history. Now it's tons of Mexican restaurants and shops and businesses and we're going to explore it today. Let's take a look. World famous Tajitos Chelito Lindo. Looks really good. Three beef taquitos with beans and cheese. You can definitely take a lot of pictures in this area. You can see they're selling everything from like trinkets to different types of art, clothing. And the um, food here, I heard, is excellent on this entire street, not just this one restaurant. La Colondrina Cafe. Doesn't look like it's open right now. Birria, menudo, carne asada plate. Here's El Pueblo de Los Angeles. The shops and the ATM are in here. You can go right in here and you can see a lot of history. Speaking of which, the original name of Los Angeles, it means the angels in Spanish. Well, that was pretty cool. Let's go back through again. And we'll walk the rest of Alvera Street. I love the chandeliers here. Very stylish. Also, nice warning, caution, watch your step. Al Paseo Inn and Restaurant here. I love the different dolls they have for sale as well as different clothing, toys as well. Also, it's very convenient that pretty much Alvera Street is right across the street from Union Station. It's pretty much like one of the major, actually I think it is the busiest transit hub in Los Angeles.
So here's the Avile Adobe. I forgot to include it in my walkthrough of Alvera Street, but I'm back here and I'm going to show you. This is the oldest existing house in Los Angeles. It built around 1818, El Pueblo, the Los Angeles Historic Monument. Free admission. This is an example of what the homes used to look like here. That's the like the bricks they use, this adobe. It's a really interesting brick. There's even grapes growing from the deck here. Beautiful birds too. Please do not touch the cactus. I wonder why. What would happen if you touch it? That ain't no splinter you're gonna get on your finger touching the cactus. Now we're gonna go inside the Avili Adobe house. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Adobe. Hi, the family room. This is a really cool looking house. Look at the stonework on it. And what about this side? Oh. So the uh, the museum created to represent the lifestyles of the 1840s. Okay. Look at that, huh? Even the old glasses and stuff are still on the desk. The table. Got teapots, teacups. The office. Kitchen, La Cochina. I'll call her the Los Padres. Bedroom. Sitting room.
please don't touch the bed. <laughs> and there's the children's room. All right, well, that was cool. That was the oldest house, house in Los Angeles. Let's go over to the other side. There's more than one side in Alvera Street. Merillo leather. They even have alpaca toys. Really nice. It's beautiful. And then over to my right, there's a souvenir shop. Different types of masks celebrating the Day of the Dead, even some in costumes. The Simpson and Jones Building, 1894. El Pueblo de Los Angeles, the first Alvarez Street cross was carved by Mrs. Florence Walker in 1929 to honor the city's 148th birthday. And over here is the main center of Alvera Street, this public plaza. Take a look at the architecture of this building this plaza met this church. And there's Union Station. Let's go over to, to this plaque over here, and then I think I can end the video. Los Pobladores, the founders of the city of Los Angeles. Alright everyone, I'm going to be ending this video here of Alvera Street in downtown Los Angeles. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos like these, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone!